So Marla, can you explain the role the Michigan Department of Education has had in Farm to School over the last five or six years? The Michigan Department of Education actually first started our efforts to um, get more Michigan produce in schools back in 2001 uh -huh. when we worked with um, Department of Defense produce. Mm -hmm. And we, we did a really good job of getting Michigan apples. So that was our first. After that, we have um, collaborated with the, M the CSM Mott Group for Sustainable Agriculture, and we've worked with them in identifying the needs of schools. They've been able to do some surveys for us, and it's really a cool connection because we have all of the food service information, and they had the person to do the survey. So finding out what schools wanted was the first step, and so that's where our first effort started. And of course, the Michigan Department of Ed is responsible for procurement. Mm -hmm. So our role is to make sure that schools are properly procuring their fruits and vegetables. Mm -hmm. Can you talk about your involvement in the state level farm to school work group? Yeah, we have a state farm to school work group that was actually, I think in 2008, a law mm -hmm. was passed that, mm -hmm. that created this. And we work with the Department of Agriculture and Rural Development and um, the Michigan Department of Education, and we collaborate with the five-day coordinator that's in community health and the CSM Mott Group. And we meet four or five times throughout the year and take on different projects, our latest being the asparagus mm -hmm. promotion for May. And we communicate with all of our schools all the various things that are going on throughout the state. We also have a working relationship with CSM Mott and um, Department of Ag for food safety, because that's a big issue with our schools. So we are kind of the liaison between those two groups and all of our food service directors. Mm -hmm. Well, I wanted to ask you a little bit more about the asparagus promotion. Well, we had uh, Governor Schneider um, declare May as Michigan Asparagus Month and we had posters created by the Eat Local Food. Eat Local Foods. Mm -hmm. And we have, uh, we do a weekly update for all of our food service directors, so we blasted that out in our weekly updates. And we also blasted it out in, in another email to all of our food service directors. We sent them recipes, we sent them nutrition information, we sent them information on how to prepare the, the fresh asparagus. So I think it was very successful. Mm -hmm. We're excited about it. Mm -hmm. So how does food procurement typically work for child nutrition programs like school lunch? Because the um, National School Lunch Program is a federal program, all of the foods that are purchased are required to be competitively bid. Um, federal dollars mean any farmer or any distributor has a chance to, to get those federal dollars. So school districts, are required to competitively, competitively bid out their fruits and vegetables. So MDE, our responsibility is to offer technical assistance and mm -hmm. educate them on the different methods of procurement. You know, the, um, the small method is the easiest. You call three farmers and get a price quote and take the lowest price. The request for, pro the request for proposal, the large method of, of procurement, you have to put out a bid and award it on various criteria. So it's a little bit easier just to call up and get the request for, call up and get the price quotations. And is that what most schools do? Most schools do that. School? Yeah, mm -hmm. we, we had um, the threshold changed about mm -hmm. three or four years ago to 100,000. So mm -hmm. it's a lot easier for schools to just get price quotations now. So how does Farm to School fit into the various child nutrition programs that run through the department? Well, the first one you know, is a national school lunch program, and there are requirements for meal pattern requirements for fruits and vegetables. I think that's a perfect fit. Mm -hmm. A lot of the schools right now are procuring fresh fruits and vegetables for their salad bars, and these all meet the menu, the meal pattern requirements for the national school lunch program. We also have summer food service mm -hmm. program, and that program runs through the summer. So that's when a lot of our Michigan fruits and vegetables are abundant. So I think that program lends itself a little bit easier. Mm -hmm. um, we also have team nutrition grants, and we work with schools for garden projects, and we hire chefs to go in and teach them how to, to um, cook healthy fruits and vegetables. Mm -hmm. 
We also have a fresh fruit and vegetable program that actually Michigan was one of the first pilot states. And this is fresh fruit and vegetable at times that's not during lunch. So between meals, grab and go in the hallways or um, in vending machines, anytime that's not in lunch. And that's been a very successful program. And a lot of our schools that participate in that are really trying to work towards getting more Michigan produce in that program. The other one that hasn't taken off yet, but Michigan is one of two states, along with Florida, we've been asked to be in a fresh fruit and vegetable pilot. Mm -hmm. And schools will be able to take some of their commodity dollars and set it aside to purchase local fruits and vegetables. And we're really excited about that. But I've heard that's on hold. On right now, USDA yeah, level. it's on hold right now. But mm -hmm. we're hoping when September rolls around, they'll get everything all straightened out and we'll be able to run that program next year. Because I think that'll be really interesting for interesting to see how much um, increase we can get in fresh produce right. purchases by yeah, schools. Yeah, that would be very exciting. So what is the USDA Commodity Foods Program and how does that work and can local foods be incorporated into that? The USDA Commodity, uh, USDA Foods Program is United States Department of Agriculture Program. Uh, USDA purchases surplus foods from local farm well not local farmers but from commodity groups mm -hmm. so when there's an excess of a commodity product usda purchases it to keep the prices up so it's kind of a, a price support schools then receive these commodity foods based on the total number of meals they served the prior year so we see a lot of beef and chicken and cheese and we also see some canned fruits and vegetables but a portion of those commodity foods can be set aside for the Department of Defense fresh fruits and vegetables. Mm -hmm. And again, Michigan was one of the first pilots for the DOD many years ago. So what our food distribution unit has done, and they've worked very hard to work with their distributors uh, of the DOD to try to encourage and make sure that the apples and the carrots and some of the Michigan products that schools receive through DOD is actually Michigan. Mm -hmm. And right now, about 49% of it is Michigan produce. So we're, we're real happy about those numbers going up. Now there are new nutrition standards coming down the pike for next year as part of the most recent child nutrition reauthorization. Can you explain what will be new and different? Yeah, I think simply stated that farm to school will be an excellent match to the new meal pattern requirements. As part of these new meal pattern requirements, schools will be required to put more fresh fruits and vegetables, offer more fresh fruits and vegetables. Mm -hmm. And there will be subgroups. So we'll see more orange and yellow and dark greens vegetables. So I think it's gonna be a perfect match. And I think it'll be an excellent opportunity for schools to partner with their local farmers. Mm -hmm. And um, the same with local farmers, getting the word out that you know schools are going to have new requirements, helping them understand what could they grow that would be helpful right. for the schools. Yeah, definitely. And so for our work group, it'll be, I think we'll have a task ahead to try to help these farmers find schools and the same thing find, help the schools try to find the farmers. Mm -hmm. And there are more beans required too, more beans and legumes as part yes, of that? Yes, there are. Yes, that is another subcategory that mm -hmm. they will be required. And we grow a lot of Michigan beans. We do beans. grow a lot of Michigan so beans. I so I opportunity there. Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Excellent opportunity. Mm -hmm. How would you like to see Farm to School tying into pre-K programs and the child and adult care food program? I, you know, this, you know, Colleen, this has been a dream of mine to get a preschool, a farm to preschool program. Where better to start kids eating healthy than at the preschool level? And right now we have about 6,000 family daycare homes that participate in the child and adult care food program mm -hmm. and about 1,000 centers. So we have, we have a lot of people that we can touch and that we can work with to try to get more fresh fruits and vegetables. These centers and daycare home providers have a meal pattern requirement too, and part of that is fruits and vegetables. Mm -hmm. So they have to serve these type of things to these preschools. So wouldn't it be great if we could encourage them and help them find local farmers? The centers have to do procurement just like schools do. Okay. So our, our challenge would be to help them but I think most of them would fall under that, that threshold. So I think they would be able to do the price, mm -hmm. price comparison. Mm -hmm. And certainly the farm markets would be an excellent for, source for them to, to purchase. 
And I've heard some interested in farm share programs, too. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And think about all the 6,000 acre homes that we have that participate. They could start gardens. Right. They could do little demonstrations. They could get these kids, even in the centers, involved in planting and then harvesting and then eating. So I think there's a lot of opportunity there. I'm, I'm excited about that. Definitely. And I know we had a couple of grants through the Michigan Farm to School Grant Program? Yes. Mm -hmm. So I'm hoping that some of our, our centers took advantage of that. Yes, yes. We will be piloting a couple of, of farm to pre-K programs right. through the Michigan Farm to School Grant Program this year. This year. And I think, mm -hmm. I think at, the, at the daycare center and the family mm -hmm. daycare home center, there's more opportunity to take field trips, mm -hmm. to do some cooking demonstrations, um, to try some new things. Um, so I, I think that will be an excellent, excellent opportunity for us. So what would you envision for farm to school in Michigan over the next five to ten years? Well, the Michigan Food Policy Council and the uh, Michigan Good Food Charter both are encouraging institutions to purchase 20 percent of their fresh fruits and vegetables local. So I think that would be a real good opportunity and a real good challenge for our schools and we can throw daycare centers in there too. Mm -hmm. So I would I would hope that in the next five to ten years we could encourage schools to do that. Um, we know that at the, the, the purchasing local is clearly a district level decision. Right. But I think as the Michigan Department of Ed and as Department of Ag we can help facilitate and, and encourage that type of thing. Mm -hmm. I also think that more schools will be planting gardens and getting kids involved in, like I was talking with daycare, helping them plant and reap and then bring it into the school and, and produce it and, and eat it. I also hope that in the next few years we can work with our distributors mm -hmm. and help them source some, some local produce because I think a lot of the pro fresh produce now is purchased through our, our distributors in Michigan. Right. And I think that's one of our big keys and one of our big pieces to our puzzle. How, are, how can we help facilitate that situation? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, we need to continue to educate children and along with children, their parents, because if children are asking for fresh produce, maybe parents will pick up on that. And we have heard a lot of that through this fresh fruit and vegetable program. Mm. Kids eat the fresh fruits at school and go home and say, Mom, I had kiwi. So I think a lot of that's going to continue to happen. Mm -hmm.